For those out of the loop, Fortnite is a massively popular dog-eat-dog competition where gamers fight and survive to be number one. How do you get there? That's a question plaguing every player's mind as they fight on the streets of Tilted Towers or in the fields of Salty Springs. In this free online game, one bad decision could prove fatal. Within seconds, you could get the hallowed gold or be defeated by a 10-year-old in Arkansas. Every player wants to know pro tips on how to get better at Fortnite. Well, stick around, we've got you covered. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 best Fortnite tips to reach the top. Twenty-five. Your parachute will open depending on where you're aiming your character on the map, so it's best to aim for low areas like roads and rivers to deploy the parachute at the last possible moment, giving you a faster landing. Twenty-four. Unless you're confident few other players are around, don't immediately rush for heavy supply zones like cities, lakes, or the like. Staying outside of these areas will keep you alive longer and you can always find weapons in rural areas before moving to gather better supplies. 23. The beginning of the game provides a nice open window to gather resources like wood and brick. If you forget to gather enough of these as the game progresses, it'll become much harder to do without being noticed, making you an easy target. 22. Don't chop down trees all the way. Just get enough and move on to the next tree. Chopping trees down completely can be seen far and wide, revealing your location and making you a prime target. 21. The storm eye closes as the game progresses, but in the beginning it allows for quite some time to explore, gathering resources and supplies. Rather than racing toward the safe zone like all the other players, stay just outside of it in areas players likely won't be, scooping up supplies in the process. 20. Sound is very important in Fortnite. With headphones, you can hear the sound of other players closing in on you or the sound of a firefight off in the distance. Hearing this stuff is vital to your survival. 19. Of course, Fortnite is all about surviving to the end, but you'll likely not survive long enough to reach number one if you aren't skilled at firefights. Beginners often keep far away from the action, but if you want to get better, the only way is to be aggressive and practice taking out other players. 18. This is kind of a no-brainer, but needs to be said. Healing and drinking shield potions take up valuable seconds, making you a sitting duck if you're out in the open. Find a hiding spot, like under a stairway or in a closet before you heal. 17. Most players head to Loot Lake, or one of the many other cities on the map for supplies. Unless you're feeling gutsy, stay away from these spots at first. Instead, go to the Wailing Woods. It has some great loot, resources, and plenty of blue mushrooms to increase your shields. 16. This tactic can be a great way to get away from an opponent, but can also decrease your health if you're not careful. If you want to slide down hills, move in the opposite direction while doing it. 15. Arguably, the first weapon you should try to get is a shotgun. They're powerful, easy to shoot at close range, and relatively easy to find. 14. Despite the necessity of a shotgun, having an array of shotguns isn't going to be very helpful to you when you need to shoot someone from far away. With that in mind, have a healthy set of options in your arsenal, with short, medium, and long-range weapons. 13. At the same time, lean on your strengths. If you're more comfortable using a certain weapon, strategize your location on it. For instance, enclosed spaces are great with a shotgun, while watchtowers are great with a sniper. 12. Becoming an expert marksman in the heat of battle can be one of the most challenging aspects of this game. When you have an assault rifle, don't move around. Stay still and crouch behind objects. Your aim will be far better than if you're constantly moving. 11. If you see a fire hydrant, break it open with your pickaxe and hop on the water. This will give you a nice big jump, allowing you to get some air. It's a particularly helpful tactic if an opponent is shooting at you. Fun fact, don't do that in real life. 10. <laughs> Fortnite is not your typical shooter. Building is a key aspect of the game. If you haven't built much or aren't comfortable with building, then you need to focus on it immediately. The faster you build, the better you'll be at surviving. 9. Long range can have its benefits with the proper weapons and if you're a skilled marksman, but use with caution. 
It can be very difficult to kill players from far away, and it risks exposing your location, putting a target on your back. Aid. If you made it through a firefight alive, your first reaction might be to take all their stuff, but not so fast. Before you do, check your surroundings. Someone might be nearby ready to kill you. If anything, build a nice wall around you to buy some time. Seven. Beginning players will likely see the different colors on weapons and guess some are more powerful than others, but sometimes confuse which is more powerful. Here's the color power spectrum. Gray is common, green, uncommon, blue is rare, purple is epic, and gold is legendary. Six. If you're lucky and find a few traps, don't ignore them. Create a building in an inconspicuous location and set the trap. To make the trap more appealing, build it around valuable objects to lure people in. There are all kinds of ways you can use traps to your advantage. Five. If you leave doors open, it'll immediately tell other players someone has been there and looted the building. It could also tell them you're still inside. How you use doors in your strategy is up to you. Some like to keep them open to scare others away, while some like to close them while hiding and waiting. Four. At the end of the game, many players are hiding and waiting, letting all the others kill each other. With that said, if you want to lure them out or stop them from doing that, destroying hiding spots is crucial. Of course, the only way to do this conveniently is with C4 or a rocket launcher. Three. If you die, consider watching other players. Watch and learn their strategies. Picking up little strategy and gameplay ideas could be just enough to give you an edge the next time you play. Two, crouching provides a host of benefits. It muffles your footsteps so others can't hear you, and it allows you to aim at a higher accuracy. Of course, if you're trying to run away, you don't want to crouch. But overall, don't forget to crouch. Oh, if things broke. Oh no, I'm old. One, if you ever run into a unique moment witnessing two other players fighting each other, be the third wheel in the situation by watching and waiting. You could try to take them both out at the same time, or wait until one player takes out another, and then sneak up and take out that player. So, do you have any Fortnite tips we didn't mention? Let us know in the comments below, or tweet your answer to us at List25. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right, and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.